Well, 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 everybody. You have come to a very special video. So, I don't know. Only the real OGs knew about this one. But in March 2018, I did a 24-hour challenge, but with a little twist. I do everything within 24 hours rather than 12 hours. Because here's the thing. When most people think about 24 hours, it's pretty much overnight when that's really 12 hours. But I'm just saying the video started at one hour of the day and it finished that very next day at the very same hour. So, yep. Well, part of it was, well, taking an inner city train up to Los Angeles. And that is exactly what this trip report is going to be on. Now, I'm using a mixture of footage. I'm using a little bit of pre-pandemic footage and a little bit of some footage during the pandemic. And yes, I was wearing a face mask during all the pandemic footage. And yes, I did wash my hands and did two meter physical distance, whatever. Okay, I sounded a little bit cyborgish right there, but <sighs> just need to straighten myself out. With that, we're going to go ahead and get started. But first off, maybe you guys might want to see how many chargers I have. Hold on just a second. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> so, now I'll tell you how many chargers I have. Here we go. Now I got one charger, two chargers, three chargers, four chargers, five, six, seven, and eight chargers. And no, I'm not going to lie. The name of the actual locomotive you see in that video is called a charger. Don't ask me why. All right, everybody. Take a good look at this. As this is going to be the last time you're going to see the San Diego skyline for quite some time. Because once again, I'm going on a business trip. So I'm going to ask you guys something. Is your journey necessary? This is what Avanti West Coast has been doing for quite some time now. And the only reason my journey was necessary was to pick up a little surprise. Um, you're going to see that um, starting on the 15th of August. So I hope you guys are ready for that. And this is part one. So this is what they put in at Santa Fe Depot. Um, they put little dots every two meters. Um, also called a, uh, it's also pretty much the average length of a surfboard. And in no time, I will guarantee you that two meters will be called a social distance. And hopefully System International uh, listens to us and puts that into consideration. So um, just hear the engine real quickly. is isn't like anything I've heard before. I mean, it kind of sounds like an MTU engine, but surprisingly, according to Wikipedia, they actually are installed with Cummins engines and they are hybrids. And by implying hybrids, I mean they are actually bi-mode units. They have a third rail pickup shoe, which is rarely used here. And the, uh, they also have electric motors that are actually audible. And um, I recorded something from 2019 that shows you exactly why they are audible. But anyways, here's a close-up of the charger. Now many of the chargers have aerodynamic rear spoilers over here. And many of them are blue. But this particular one has a gray rear spoiler, which indicates that it is a spare locomotive. There are 12 frontline locomotives for six full sets, or 12 half sets, as it is here, with two spares. Now, I'm actually booked in business class, but there are two of them. One of them is completely silver, and the other has a blue top on it. And 
we will now go to our seats. Now this particular rail car that we're on is specific and a bespoke design for this route and this route only. Um, they are built by a French corporation called Alstom at their new plant um, in Vallejo. And they also had another plant in Hornell and they built some other cars in that batch as well. And this particular one was constructed by Bombardier, um, a Canadian corporation, but this is actually a bespoke design for um, uh, the Department of Transportation. No other operator has this. And we're on our way now. We should be leaving here very, very shortly. Now again, there's some other ones that we're laying over and they'll that will follow us out in like an hour or so. And uh -oh, trains are really there are on average six coaches. Now, um, originally we were supposed to have this set partially replaced by um, three Siemens Venture train sets, but now it looks like the seven that were allotted to California will go to ASJ instead. Um, more information about ASJ in a couple of weeks and what they do. Now we're headed by the Savina by Boza. That's the newest in the Santa Fe Place development. There's still one lot left to be turned into a high rise. And we passed up control point Ash and we have crossed Ash Street. The next one would probably be Cedar. And now we are gonna cross into the County Center Little Italy station and with that we are on our way. Within forty minutes we have gone through Del Mar, Solana Beach, Encinitas, Carlsbad, and very soon we'll be at Oceanside. Now Oceanside is um, where most of the Metrolink trains do sadly terminate, but um, should probably advocate to um, extend Metrolink service down to San Diego so that we can have a one seat connection between there and San Bernardino. So here's the Oceanside Metrolink station. And it's going to stop right here. Now, again, there's a much louder locomotive next to us with a Caterpillar engine in it. And well, our train actually started to move, so you can kind of see how high up the cap controls are, but you won't be able to see them. So let's give you a little tour on board. Coming up here, this is one of the bathrooms. This is the WC to be exact. And there's five more standard bathrooms down here. So there's a total of six, five normal ones and a WC. So over here is, there was a luggage rack and then this is actually a large lower level cabin. And it's kind of intimate. Um, would have been perfect for small groups, but since 1990, this has been the priority seating area. So, and then this is actually a spiral staircase. And here's the Stuart Mesa Traction Maintenance Depot. Now, this depot is actually the result of an easement between Sandag and the Department of Defense. So it's probably one of the most sterile depots this in existence. Is not looking good out there. Can't tell what kind of sets these are. Yeah, it's our coronavirus sir for Port for San Clemente. So um, this is a part of Dana Point, and that means we are now across the Orange County line and into much of Greater Southern California. And here comes Anaheim. So Anaheim Intermodal is where you get off for Disneyland and this is supposed to be a high-speed train terminus in about 
13 years is time. Um, some big modifications are coming very soon. Now I took a picture of this thinking that it was uh, Emirates but it happened to be United Airlines. And don't fly, don't fly United everyone, just quick PSA. Now um, this over here is actually the entrance to the Alameda Corridor and that goes from Los Angeles all the way down to Long Beach and San Pedro. So that's where the Southern Transcon begins. That goes from here all the way to Chicago. And then next up is another transcontinental system. And I believe that goes towards um, Yuma or something. Now there's a bunch of other carriages here because this is a traction maintenance depot. And it's called the Redondo Traction Maintenance Depot, which is just a little bit south of DTLA. A bunch of equipment. So over here these are transition sleepers and they basically connected a baggage hold to um, the rest of the train. Now they pretty much pulled all the transition sleepers out of service because of the coronavirus. So you're going to see a few more here coming up. So we're going to go under this bridge. And I believe um, here's another set getting filled up. So this is a fueling pad where the assembled train sets get filled up. I believe that was one of the sleeper trains that was about to come into the platform. Now there are three of those locomotives. They look like freight locomotives. Don't ask me why. And then there's another one right here. And then we have some additional Comet cars as well. Again, the, the comets are pretty much going to be retained here now. We were going to get Siemens Venture sets, but now it looks like the comets are going to stay here. So the next few photos are of the A650 class of Los Angeles Metro, followed by another shot of DTLA, another shot of DTLA. Then we have an isolated cab streamlined locomotive unit, followed by a GCE 430G class locomotive which is then followed by a metro building and just like that we've arrived at Los Angeles Union Station so once again much of this was done before the pandemic but this was during the pandemic so there were some physical distancing markers on the platforms as well they're a different color than when we left San Diego and just like that, we'll go ahead and walk right in the station. And again, uh, this particular train would continue to Santa Barbara. And just like that, um, this video is over. The term of the week is inspiration. It's the process of being mentally stimulated to do or feel something, especially to do something creative or a sudden, brilliant, creative, or timely idea. See also, motivation. This is not to be confused with Carnival Inspiration, a cruise ship that's headed for scrap right now. Delaying the unleashing of my new outro to next week. I uh, need some time with it. This will do though. Thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next week.